Summer, could you tell us about your first kiss? <laughs> My first kiss? Uh, I think it was in middle school or something. Uh, I was that pretty girl everybody went to kiss me and there was that really hot guy and I don't know, it was like, I think that was that one. Huh. I don't really value these things to be honest, so, but that's the first one that I remember. Do you remember the boy's name? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Jim, what about you? First kiss. Well, I haven't kissed anyone yet because I don't believe in kissing. I think it's an ineffective way of communication. I think a handshake would do the same thing. Um, I think kissing's gross. I don't think anyone should kiss. I think it spreads germs. Um, it's just, it's kind of disgusting. Uh, like all my friends, I make sure they're the people who don't kiss. I do survey, also do surveys, and I, I just don't think kissing is considered smart in any way. I just think it's gross. It's it's just gross overall. I'm not a fan of kissing. Henry. Hmm. Well, I'd uh, I'd like to say it was my wife Karen, but uh. The truth is, I don't really remember. Uh, I must have been back in junior high in Brooklyn, back in the day, and uh, that whole period of my life was kind of a blur for the most part. Uh, I spent so much time running favors for Polly, Paul Vario, that uh, everything else seemed to kind of slip by the wayside. Uh, I remember what she looked like, though. It was kind of short, dark hair, dark eyes, typical <laughs> Italian. Brooklyn girl, but, yeah. Summer, what was your first job? My first job? It was at Starbucks. Oh, were you a barista? Yes. And did you like it? Yeah, it's really fun, because you get to see all these people, like, getting coffee every morning. It just brings that happiness and joy. Okay. Jim, how about you? I don't have a job. I don't believe in jobs. Do you have a hobby? Um, yeah, I have a hobby. I like drinking banana milk. Because the one in the cartoon, what do you call that? The cartons? Uh-huh. Those milk are my cartons? favorite. Milk cartons, yeah. Because it's just fun opening them and then using a straw. Um, that must be a pretty long straw. No, nah, short straw. Okay. I'm not a fan of long things. I feel like short is effective, okay. to the point. I don't know, it's just my style. Sometimes I use two straws. Yeah, that's to the you flavor. You get more milk faster. No, that's not the point, it's just fun. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, no job, no hobby. No, I have a hobby. Oh, what's the hobby? It's drinking banana milk. Drinking banana milk, right. Yeah, I don't like strawberry because I heard that it's made from <laughs> bugs, the color. Oh. Yeah. I don't know, it kind of turns me on, but it's just not my style. Again, banana milk is just, I like the color. Mm -hmm. Red's red's not a fun color to drink, in my opinion. I think red's a color to admire. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Just like this. Yes, I see that. And, uh, what, what are we talking about? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, Henry, uh, what was your first job? I think I know, but please share with us. <laughs> yeah, I was a, a busboy at a, a local diner uh, down the street from uh, the Brownstone that I grew up in. Clearing tables and uh, doing dishes, that kind of stuff. Pretty, pretty basic, and uh, it was from there I got recruited to do some more, uh, more fun jobs, better paying, you know. Didn't you sure. run errands too? I, I did, that's what I'm referring to. Okay. Yeah. How'd you feel about that? Because I know you didn't want your mom to find out. Yeah, you know, my mom's like a traditional, uh, you know, very proper Catholic uh, lady. And uh, uh, my dad was an asshole. I don't think he would be happy with me no matter what I did. But uh, I enjoyed it. You know, it was fun and uh, it paid pretty well. 
I started to get respect from people. And, uh, you know, I'm glad. I thought it was a good start, and I'm glad of where it got me. Summer, what's the toughest decision you've ever made? <laughs> toughest decision? To live with my dad or my mom. Oh, okay. That was kind of tough. Do you I mean, feel, did you feel closer to your mom or your dad, or you were close to both? Honestly, I was close to both. Uh, I don't feel close to them anymore. None of them, but yeah. You stay in touch? Yeah, I do. Like, I text them every yeah. once in a while, and I send, like, some funny videos of myself, and they kind of like it. Uh, what about you, Jim? What's the toughest decision you've ever made outside of not having a job? Well, I feel like I don't believe in decisions. I think there's a set path. I don't think decisions, I think decisions are an illusion. I don't think, I don't think it's real. I think there's always a path you should go to and it's always there and then there's no decision. I think decisions are an excuse. How do you find the path though? You just look at it. And it just appears before you. Yeah. Okay. It's quite simple actually. I don't know, sometimes it's on the other side. You all look around. It's a metaphor by the way, not literally. No, I understand. So <laughs> So you look around, you find the path, and, and you just want to go through that path. You know, you know, like how when you hike, yeah. there's a path. That's the path you want to go to. You don't want to go to the side. It, it might look like a shortcut, but I think that's what decisions are. I think decisions are like an excuse to take a shortcut oh. and, and, and like make a better choice. Okay. But I think there's always a path that you can go to. I think it's quite. It's literally right there, and I think you can take it and just stop being lazy and being weird about it. Cause it, it's really obvious, like you just go to the path. I'm gonna keep that in mind. Yeah. Uh, Henry, how about you? What's the toughest decision you've ever made? Who, who's asking? Is, it, is anyone gonna see this? I, well, I mean, just us here. Uh, okay, well, uh, I got your word on this. Yeah. Uh, so that's a that's a easy question then. Uh, deciding to, to to go state's witness on the on the on the crew, because right. I knew that uh, for the Lufthansa heist. Yeah, uh, I I knew that once I made that decision, there's no going back. Yeah, true. You know, I have to be in witness protection, and uh, if they ever find me, I'm a dead man. So. You think you can keep yourself out of trouble? Eh, I mean, I hope so, right? Because, uh, you know, God fucking forbid they ever catch up with me. After what they did to Tommy, mm -hmm. I, I don't ever want that to be me. It wasn't an easy decision, I'll tell you. Like, uh, I mean, well, you don't want to... You didn't really have any options. You don't want to break Omera, but... Hey, it was me or them, you know? So, yeah. Summer, do you believe in God? That's a really good question. Uh, I used to believe in God when I was a kid because my parents used to tell me that there is a God and you can, you should pray and this and that. But I don't really talk to God, so I don't know. So Even you haven't made a decision for yourself about it? It's just not clear. And I know I have like a long life ahead of me. I'll figure out if there's a God or not one day. Jim? Who's Jim? asking? I'm just asking. Oh, uh, what was the question? Do you believe in God? Yeah. Do you believe God has a plan for you? Yeah. Okay. Henry, how about you? Uh. I know, I know you were raised Catholic. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, I used to. Uh, I stopped going to church after I got out of the army, I think was the last time. I got mixed feelings about this, you know, because I've done some bad things, like I... I can't lie, but... Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't, I don't really like to think about it. I just, I hope it all works out in the end. Do you hope that maybe you're forgiven for some of those sins? Eh, well, you know, that's kind of the 
tricky part because I didn't say I didn't enjoy doing the bad things and most of them I probably would do again given the chance because I enjoyed the life I've led. I think, uh, I think I've had a pretty good time. And, uh, you know, maybe not everybody approves of that, but eh, fuck them, you know. If somebody's going to do it, might as well be me. Okay, fair enough. How do you want to be remembered, Summer? <laughs> Just a person who enjoyed every second of her life. That's enough. How about you, Jim? Well, I want to be remembered as a lot of things. First of all, I want to remember that as like a good gamer. And yeah, whatever I do. Milk drinker. <laughs> no, no, I want I don't want to be remembered as banana milk drinker, because that's kinda of embarrassing. Okay. I don't think it's that significant. It's just a hobby. So People don't have to like it, but I don't know. I, I like it, but it's kinda of embarrassing. Alright. So So you want no to just be remembered milk. as a gamer, the best. No, 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 no. A no. lot of things. That's one of them. Okay. Another thing is I wanna be remembered as a good runner. No, not my character. A good runner, like, cause I run every day for two hours yeah, in the morning, and then two hours after lunch, two hours after dinner. In the weekends, I go. Well, depending on if I have so time. How many miles a week are we saying? Well, I don't. I don't care about miles. I think. I think like, it. I don't think it matters how many miles you go. I think time matters the most. How okay. much time you spend on things, and also. Yeah, on weekends, you know, it's because I put the work into it. If you put work into something, you want to be remembered as, you know, the thing you put the put your work into. Um, I also want to be remembered as a person who can do a lot of push-ups. I brag whenever I can, and it's quite impressive because I can do 60 in a row. I used to be able to do 70, but um, not anymore for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I'm also got sit-ups. How many sit-ups? 140 in a minute oh. is my highest record. Okay. Um, also, see, the more more things there are, it's kind of hard to remember, you know? Um, no. I'm also good at everything. Okay. Like, no matter what I do, like, I'm just fantastic at everything. Like, if someone plays a game for two weeks, or if someone plays a game for a year, I can beat them in that game in three weeks. Ah. Or less, or less. Um, it's just whatever I do, I'm so good at it, and uh, yeah, I'm just just talented over like all over. Like the only thing I'm not talented is it, it in is uh, cooking. Oh. But I think cooking comes from practice. And I'm not interested in cooking. Okay. So I'm not gonna practice that. Uh, I think cooking is not important at all, because because <laughs> there's enough. microwaves and there's instant instant ramen. I think those are an excellent food stores. Yeah. Why would you pay 12 bucks for pasta when you can get ramen in two dollars or less? Yeah. It's the same thing. You can eat it raw too. No, I don't like eating raw. It's just it's I like I like hot things. I like the spiciness of things, and that goes for whatever. Okay. You know, in life, hot and spicy are the key words. <laughs> it's it, it's cool if sweets mixed in there. Sweet, hot, spicy, sweet is yes. it? Does that sound good? Like Thai food. No, no, I hate Thai food. I like, I like, <laughs> I like Italian. Okay. But you don't like pasta. No, I, I don't she like pasta. I don't think, I don't think you should like like something. Get it together, guy. I think you can like a country without liking their food. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's it's hard to. What was the question? I think, you, I think you answered it. That's gonna be a big tombstone for you. Uh, how about for you, Henry? What do you? How do you want to be remembered after you die? Uh, well, well, first off, can I say, how the hell am I supposed to follow that one up? There's no way. I mean, some people are just more talented than others. Apparently, yeah, apparently so. <laughs> uh, God, uh, no, no softball questions today. You huh? killed too many people to be talented. Hey, I never. <laughs> as far as anyone knows, I never killed anybody, okay? Well, and I know. You will never. I can tell. I'm talented. I'm smart. I can read minds. You have the eyes of a killer. 